sneak a seat. <laughs> Being of sound mind, 
do bequeath all my belongings and riches to my grandson, Paul Alexander Patterson. <gasps> if anything should happen to him, then I bequeath everything to my grandson, Paxton Josiah Patterson, and my granddaughter, uh, Peyton Katerina Patterson. <gasps> Obviously I get everything. I was Grandma's favorite. Wait, no. Grandma couldn't have given everything to Paul. This is an outrage. Why? How could she do this to us? This doesn't make any sense. I don't understand. It's your fault. No, it's your fault, you loser. You loser? If I'm a loser, then you're... You're trash. Right to the dumps of grandma you can six years ago when you poisoned her chili. It was a science experiment. Oh, I suggest that you two take this outside. Yeah, but let's just take this outside. We don't want to hurt Paul's prison tears for yelling. They're so dramatic. It's like they're in a soap opera or something. Yes, <laughs> You know, I wonder why she died. She seemed pretty healthy. Well, sometimes old age gets the best of a person. See here. <laughs> nah, nah, see, no one in our family ever died of old age. Not even old Pops the third. Fascinating! See... It seems suspicious if you ask me. You know, Pops and Peyton always hated Grandma for treating me better. <gasps> You're not seriously suggesting that your grandmother's death was a murder, are you? I mean, duh, think about it. She's perfectly healthy one day, then suddenly after Paxton and Peyton show up in town, she's dead? It doesn't make any sense. I can't discuss this in such a public area. Someone might overhear. Meet me at Hole 13 on the golf course tonight. Good day. What? I said good day. <laughs> Wait, what's Paul doing out there? Where? Over there. That's 
grandma's lawyer. What are they doing? That jerk, he must be discussing the inheritance. He does, doesn't he have enough already? Why would grandma give him all of the money? I don't know, but I really need that inheritance. Well, the will did say that if something happened to Paul, we would get the money. What do you suggest that Paul's the only thing standing in our way, so let's deal with them. So, we break into their hotel room after they leave and then search their stuff. Yep. Um, and how do we get in? Oh, my mom got me a lock picking set for Christmas once. Of course, I've never used it. I get whatever I want just by asking. Oh, perfection! The point is, <laughs> my rooms are across from them. Oh, sounds good. Great. I'll wake up early tomorrow morning and I'll call you when they leave their room. Ah, oh, I was just looking for you both. Paula, can I get grandmother's funeral for tomorrow evening? Janine, of course, since you were her lawyer, you're going to be invited. It's going to be at the pond. Why the pond? It was your grandmother's last wish to be thrown into the pond. Isn't that right, Janine? <laughs> That's right. She did love her pond water. <laughs> Strange. Strange indeed, but we have to respect her wishes. So it'll be a water funeral. Please dress appropriately. And Paul, tell Kate and Patsy to be there. Okay. Great, I'll see you both there at 4 p.m. tomorrow. Good night. What are you two doing here? What was that? That's none of your business. Have you seen Nina? Nurse Nina? No, she's probably also going to do her job on the YouTube. Inside now!
Paxton, please we follow along. Yeah, what are you two even doing here? You weren't invited. Yeah, but that's not going to stop us coming to the party. And this is a. <laughs> oh. Until you two found the insurance papers. 